trouble sleeping? It's only natural. The time is almost at hand, after all. Now, where did he get to? He went to check the path ahead, but that was some time ago. Ahoy! Are you three done sawing logs? I was out scouting, and ain't no doubt about it. This is definitely the place, but... But what? You look somewhat puzzled. What is it? I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that we've been down this road before. Ugh. No point fretting over it, though. You get enough rest, it's high time we shove off. He's right. We've nothing to gain from dallying here. With the grace of the goddess, we have traveled far to get here. Now our goal is in sight. We must press on. Let's do this, Rex. The Dread Fiend ain't gonna defeat himself. The fate of the world rests on this battle. If we can emerge victorious, peace will be restored. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Come, Rex. We must go. You seem troubled. Are you too haunted by memories of this place? It is puzzling, but perhaps it is not our place to understand. Only the goddess knows the truth. Well, we'd better go. Our destiny awaits us. Murdoch's keep awaits us at the bottom of this precipice, but how do we descend safely? I know I've been here before. Maybe it's de la vue, uh, deja vu, uh... Deja vu! I've just been in this place before! The final leg of our journey awaits us. If the legends are true, all that remains is to play this ocarina. Yes, just like before. Well, here goes nothing. Welcome to the inside of Murdaugh's Keep. Now that we're here, the only ways back out and around and down is to either beat Murdaugh or die trying. There is no other way for us to move ahead, or behind rather. Thankfully, if you talk to Navan just then, he will leave us a sacred barrier, which basically means that if we do die and get kicked out, we can just zoom back here instead of going through uh, the caves um, like we did before. Now this time around, these doors over there are no longer barred. So let's head up this way. And get ourselves some treasures! Uh, let's see. Uh, let's actually do the peep spell right quick. 
Okay, this one's safe and contains some more Seco Essence. In the Super Nintendo version, that's a can of box. Ignore it. This chest contains 1800 gold coins. And the final chest is an iron mask, which is a more powerful set of equipment for um, Carver. Or Rex, but I'm gonna give it to Carver. I'm trying to maximize Carver's defense as much as I humanly can because he is going to need it. Okay. From here, the path is much like what we did before. Up the stairs and through this hallway. There are enemies this time, so don't be complacent. What the? Huh? What's that? Rex! Avast Rex, you gotta see this! It... it looks like... me! I, is he dead? He sure ain't moving. No, no he ain't dead, just sleeping like the dead. But why is there a double O me in this joint? Here of all places. Wait, huh? What's happening to... What's going on here? Crikey, hold on. It's all flooding back to me. The name's Carver. I'm a carpenter's son from Port Haven. Best in the business, too. Anyway, that dreary town wasn't really floating my boat, so I left home. And that's when I fell in with Rex. We came here to face Murdoch to show him what for and everything like that. But as you hardly need reminding, Murdoch clobbered us and turned us into stone. My spirit got ejected straight to the dream world. I became what I always was in my dreams, a Roman warrior with a nose for adventure. But listen to me rambling on about my life and times. I'm sure you got the gist. Now that I've got my trusty old body back, I feel all my strength flowing back to me. And Carver learns Knuckle Sandwich. That's a bit of a weird move in that it does... <clears throat> Never mind. Uh, listen, Rex, I can see why you don't want to think of yourself as just a figure from the dream world. I know it ain't easy to accept that at some point the person you think you are is going to disappear and everything like that. But don't worry, I may have returned to my real self, but I still remember all the stuff you and me have been through together. You know what that means, right? It means my dream self hasn't disappeared after all. It's still a part of me. You need to find your real body here in the real world too. You've got nothing to fear. Hey, we can continue this chat later. We've got a certain dread fiend to deal with first. Come on, let's shove off. Anyway, Carver learns Knuckle Sandwich, which is an interesting physical ability. It counts as its own element for the purposes of determining uh, resistance and immunity. Um, and what resistance does for Knuckle Sandwich is it um, determines whether or not it'll hit. Uh, an enemy will either have a 0% chance of dodging it, a 15% chance of dodging it, a 50% chance of dodging it, or they will always dodge it. And here we got another new enemy, the Pesky Jester. Uh, the nice thing about Knuckle Sandwich is that it's free, and if it hits, it does a lot of damage. It's his best physical attacking ability. And unlike Double Up, it doesn't uh, cause you to take double damage. Uh, they have a little bit of defense and not too terribly much HP. Um, they can do a regular attack, or they can use Falcon Slash to hit you twice, which uh, can be a little damaging, but we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Our defense is high enough that we're mostly fine so long as they attack Carver. Let's see if Knuckle Sandwich can do the job here. Oh, nuts. He missed. Gambler's Fallacy. Come on, Carver, I know you can do it. Ha-ha! That was enough damage to actually kill them in one hit, by the way. Uh, they only have 60 HP, or thereabouts. Now, you can see here there's a statue in the way of where I'm trying to go to. 
Uh, by the way, uh, if you go to the left side of the room and down into the similar pathway, uh, there's nothing there for you. Uh, the only thing that's here for us is on this pathway, so don't even bother. But uh, anyway, you see these statues over here. They seem to be blocking your way. Well, if we interact with them... They turn into sculptresses. Uh, these guys are kind of like mini-bosses, uh, to where they have a pretty sizable amount of HP and don't really take hits that much. Um, what you can do, since they have no resistance to sap, uh, just use the sap spell on them a couple of times uh, and then hit them. You don't want to use Knuckle Sandwich necessarily because they have a 15% chance to dodge that, but other than that you should be fine. Just make sure to keep your HP topped up as usual. There we go. Uh, these guys, they can attack, and they will about 50% of the time. Uh, they can also cast Casnooze, which has a decent chance of putting all your party members to sleep. Uh, they can cast Casap, uh, which we've discussed before, and they can use a Cool Breath for about 15 damage to everyone. I might as well just keep using this, since you're not going to do a whole lot of damage. Go for it, why not? Knuckle sandwiches are fun. It's another one of those really fun sound effects this game has where it just sounds like, you know, massive damage going your way. 98 damage! Holy cow. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Knuckle Sandwich Dragon Quest 6 is actually factually busted. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's another Sculptrice, but you don't have to fight it to move on, so I'm not going to. Okay, let's see. If we head on over this way, you had another Sculptrice there, but again, I'm not going to fight it if I don't have to. Okay, this is about as bad as it's going to get for a battle. Uh, we have Argoyles once again, uh, which are nasty in and of itself. We also have Harmors and Sorcerers. Let's see. Uh, the Sorcerers can call for backup. Um, from anim and summon animated armors, which are those guys who are using the Mercurial Thrust thing. They can also cast the Frizzle spell, uh, which is a more powerful Frizz spell, which can do like 70 or more damage to a single target. And most worryingly, they can cast the Oomph, spe Oomph spell, which amplifies the attack power of a certain uh, of one of the enemies, um, probably the Harmor. The Harmor has decidedly less HP, but can. Uh, has a lot of defense and can summon heal slimes for backup, uh, which do exactly what they say they were. They can cast the heal spell on the Harmor to keep their HP up. And the Argoyle is just as pesky and dangerous as it was before. This is a really awful trifecta of enemies to encounter all at once. Uh, and I might die. I don't think I can fizzle the Sorcerer, but damn it if I'm gonna try. Okay, we put the Argoyle to sleep. That at least is, uh, solace. This is one of those fights where, uh, you actually don't want to even have the boomerang equipped because the Argoyle might wake up and that might kill you. Let's just defend in the Vaughn. Okay, we got the Sorcerer. The Argoyle woke up, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's double up on the, uh, actually no, let's not double up on the Harmor. Let's see if I can sap the Harmor and try to put the Argoyle back to sleep. And you keep defending. Nuts. Okay, well the Argoyle just took himself out of the fight for a few rounds, so that's, that's fine with me. Uh, Staff of Ghent, Carver, to bring him back up to full, and now you can attack. There we go. And now we kind of just wait for Kuklang to wear off, I guess. There we go. It's not a terrible situation to pull yourself out of as long as you play smart. Anyway, we got another fight against uh, these uh, Sculptrices, um, which I'll just cut out because it'll take too long otherwise. We've already seen what they can do. Okay. 
In front of us is more damaging tiles. Uh, they hurt more than everything else we've seen up to this point. Um, but we can make it through just okay and pick up our prize, the Fire Claw. This is the best weapon we can get for uh, Carver at this point in the game. Uh, and more importantly, it is absolutely, absolutely critical to get your hands on in the coming battles. You need this. Uh, under no circumstances should you go without. Uh, the reason is because the next boss um, has high enough defense and immunity to sap that we can't just, you know, power through and overwhelm him with physical attacks. Uh, but if you use the Fire Claw as an item in battle, uh, it casts the Frizzle spell on a single target, which can do like 70 or more damage to uh, said target. It's very strong. Ignore anything else in this room. Don't touch anything or you'll get into an encounter with something, probably. That's probably a uh, hyperbole, but it's true, kind of. Don't do it, viewers. But yeah, if you use it as an item in battle, it casts the Frizzle spell. Uh, and Murdaw has no immunity to Frizzle, so... Or no resistance to Frizzle. At least in... Uh, part of the fight. But yeah, I'll explain more about how I need my setup to go in the coming battle soon enough. Soon enough. Okay, we made it. Um, back to where I was, and now it's time for me to rearrange my equipment and my gear. Okay. So, I've taken the time to rearrange my setup and readjust the party uh, so that our, we are set and ready to go for the fight against Murdaw. Uh, now, this strategy is probably a little on the cheese side, but will still hopefully work out for us. Um, and by a little on the cheese side, I mean it's one of the more surefire ways to guarantee that we don't die horribly. Because we might still die horribly because Murdaugh does a lot of damage to you. Uh, anyway, we have Navon out front. Uh, it doesn't matter what weapon he has. I uh, gave him the Cloak of Evasion and the Bronze Shield, which it turns out he can wear, as well as the Hardwood Headwear for good defense. Uh, you can sub out the Cloak of Evasion for the Plate if you really want to, but I think the Cloak is actually better because the Plate doesn't actually improve your defense high enough to reduce damage, so. Uh, he is in the front because he is going to sit there and spam the defend button for the entire boss And that's it. That's his only purpose in the fight uh, other than emergency healing if we're really that deep in the shitter, but uh, Hopefully we're not gave him one of my Yggdrasil leaves just in case uh, If you did the casino trick you want to have two or three Yggdrasil leaves on everyone uh, or one on Navon Let's see, I have Rex, it doesn't matter what weapon he has, with the Platinum Mail and the Dragon Shield for boosted defense. Otherwise, give him full plate and an Iron Shield. Uh, give him the Iron Mask and a Gold Bracer so that he can be a backup tank, backup healer. Uh, he will not be using the attack button. He will be focusing on making sure everyone stays alive or defending. Uh, or at least for the second half. Carver has the Fire Claw, uh, which he will be spamming the crap out of in battle as an item. Uh, Platinum Mail Dragon Shield or Iron or Full Plate uh, Iron Shield uh, gave him the Iron Helmet, Gold Bracer, uh, two Yggdrasil Leaves and a few Medicinal Herbs and Armor Seco Essence. Uh, Millie should have the Enchanted Armor and the Silver Tiara and the Agility Ring, especially the Agility Ring, uh, because she has the Staff of Ghent in order to boost her healing potential. Put her in the back so that she hopefully will get targeted less often. That doesn't necessarily matter because she could still get completely wrecked no matter what. It could be worth your while to wait until Carver learns the skill forbearance uh, just to have an extra panic emergency button in case things really go uber pear-shaped, but uh, hopefully my setup should be good enough to at least cover my weakness. Murda awaits us beyond this door. I can feel it. We must keep, keep our wits about us. I have heard it is said that Murda does not hesitate to use the darkest and most deceptive arts. He can fight as dark and dirty as he likes. Things ain't gonna go the way they did last time, believe you me. 
So we stand here once more. All our steps have led us to the same place. It does indeed seem that since this dark day, we've been trapped in- since that dark day, we've been trapped inside one long dream. But all we've experienced in the dream world has served to make us stronger. Of that, I am sure. It is time. Oh, we must stop meeting like this. You are persistent, I'll give you that. Such persistence deserves a monument. Stone should do the trick, don't you think? 